Okay, so today we're going to see how exactly to add a kit to Qt Creator and uh, exactly how to install Qt in a very simple way because that's totally not intuitive in my opinion and it should be much easier because it's uh, disconnected and uh, yeah, we don't want to waste any time. So we're going to see a very straightforward way actually to do this because it's important. So for example, there is uh, this article, this uh, comes from the Stanford University, which is actually the most straightforward way actually to install Qt. So for example, you assume that you don't have anything installed, right? So you go to this link, which is because if you look for, for example, Qt installer download, this is needed when uh, um, you want to install Qt itself, right? To, uh, for example, I don't know, um, install a specific version of Qt. You have this, where you have to compile, a f uh, for example, a form, because, uh, yeah, there is an open source version about uh, Qt, but, uh, I mean, this is not a straightforward way. Even here, you will find Qt Creator. We will come back to this later. The first thing that you have to do is go here on the download Qt installer. And this actually starts the download. So it's Qt unified, in this case, Windows, etc., etc., and the architecture that is actually underlined. So this is it. Basically, what it does, it's like the important to Qt maintenance tool. So this is basically it. And this tool, when you have installed Qt, actually serves the purpose to check which components of Qt are installed and even uh, try to update them according to your needs. But, uh, I mean, I'm showing you this because uh, this is exactly how the Qt installer, the first thing that you install is, right? So you have to have a login account. In this case, I show mine uh, with no uh, problem. And then you go here, you go next. In this case, uh, I mean, this is the maintenance tool, but uh, it's actually important when you have installed Qt to check what components you actually have or even uninstall it completely. So you go here, okay? And here you can see that I have two versions of Qt installed. I mean, even if it's quite minimal because there are uh, only different versions of compiler and uh, also a uh, uh, Qt Charts plugin because, uh, I mean, the only thing that uh, uh, this serves a purpose in my case, it's uh, for an academic project that, uh, I mean, this is not important. So you go here and uh, assume that you have installed this. For example, if you install this, uh, actually uh, Qt uh, basically has no kit installed. What I actually mean to have, uh, for example, a kit, it means that you, you go here and uh, this is completely not intuitive either because you have to go here on tools, then you have external and then you have configure. Okay, and so you see this option, which is the first one. These are actually found uh, automatically, but then you go to Qt versions and usually there is anything here. Where do you find it? Well, you go to add and then you can see that the only thing you go to see, you go to Qt. You go, for example, here on 6.2.4. There are two different versions of compiler. So you go here, you go to bin, the bin folder, and you select the qmake.exe. And here you can see that everything works, okay? Because otherwise, there is nothing that you can do about it. So you close and you try to execute the project. So the project, in this case, it's a project about my uh, object-oriented programming course, which I also tutor in, but this is not related to the content. But also, yeah. You can see that actually it works. I mean, um, because uh, it's totally not intuitive how to do that. Also, I uh, said that uh, there is uh, the Qt Creator. Actually, this you find, uh, for example, here. So you go here and there is the Qt Creator, for example, because here you find the source code for different versions of Qt. You go to Qt Creator and then in this case, Windows 64 bit, you go here. Otherwise, uh, Let's try to see if it's here, the Qt installer. Otherwise, you go to that Stanford page and you simply type Qt.io download the Qt installer because it's the actual thing. If you go here, there is basically nothing that is useful. If you go here, that is basically nothing that is useful. And on the side, we'll do simply an example of download. And then go here. I mean, you have, uh, for example, just to do it. And uh, I mean... There's nothing uh, more than that, basically. So, as you can see, there is this form. Actually, if you go to this page and you go to qt.io.qt installer, this is straightforward. So you need Qt, add a kit, and Qt creator, and then you're set. So this is basically it. Hope uh, this was useful.